friend of mine said, um, oh, my boss has got this Bristol 401 uh, and it's for sale. Are you interested? I said, I don't know what a Bristol 401 is. I didn't even know what a Bristol was, let alone a 401, a model 401. And then he said, well, it was made by the Bristol Aeroplane Company. It did 100 miles an hour and it has an all aluminium body. But that has to be good, doesn't it? It has to be good. And so I got involved with it on that sort of basis alone. So it was purely by chance. I mean, it wasn't designed. If he hadn't said that to me, I would have never known about Bristol cars. I like to do things. I like to know how it works and I like to be able to take things apart. So uh, some people like that, some people don't. Some people just like to have the car and, uh, and not get involved. I would see the previous owners. I would see those people who admired them, those people who loved them, uh, because most people with a specialist car do have a special relationship with the car. This is why you find some people call their cars Bertie or whatever. I've sold cars to all sorts of people, and including uh, President Jimmy Carter and Lord Foster, uh, and some of them have become very good friends. It's nicer to see them there than probably in a scrapyard. <laughs> well, you could say they do look a bit like a scrapyard. Uh, no, it doesn't look like a scrapyard, does it? No, I'm not going to say it looks like a scrapyard. It just looks like a, a, a resting place for Bristol cars. So what should I do now? I think I'll work on this one here today. <laughs>